fuel leaks, brake issues, faulty emergency exits. Those are just a few of the major problems state police found while inspecting thousands of school buses across Minnesota. And tonight, Fox 9 investigator Nathan O'Neill tells us why more buses than ever are being pulled out of service. And he found one bus company that not only failed all of its safety inspections, but continued to transport children. Across Minnesota, you're seeing the signs. Those big and bright reminders of a new school year. The school buses that parents trust every day. But how do you know if those buses are safe? It makes me very angry that we're trusting these people with our kids. Can you spin it that way? Allison Foote's world revolves around her nine-year-old daughter. The single mom relies on the school bus to get her child to school and back in St. Paul. Well, it's super frustrating. But last year, she started to question whether her daughter would be safe you got it, you got it. getting on a bus <laughs> operated by Midwest Bus Services. The bus had to pull over because of different, like an alarm was going off. Specifically, the emergency arm on the back of the bus would not go down and stay down. I think she was late coming home almost 45 minutes that day. Midwest Bus Services drive students for several schools throughout the Twin Cities metro. But state inspection records obtained by the Fox 9 investigators reveal last year the company failed 100% of its annual inspections. What does that tell you about this company? It tells me that they do not take the safety of our children seriously. The company declined to comment, but Midwest failed all 25 inspections last year, with violations ranging from a broken parking brake to a leaking fuel tank to a faulty emergency door that took more than 25 pounds of pressure to open. It's scary, you know, like, I mean, my daughter would never be able to put 25 pounds of pressure at her age, you know, to open that. The inspection found that the emergency door exit was hard to open. That seems pretty dangerous. Right, you know, hopefully nothing happens with the driver in a crash, but there may be a time where the kids have to be able to get out um, of the bus themselves. Minnesota State Patrol is responsible for inspecting every school bus statewide. New safety standards in 2021 led to a sharp increase in the number of buses deemed unsafe. And last year, more than 4,500 buses failed inspections because of a variety of violations. A lot of the common issues we'll see are um, concerns with the emergency exits. The Fox 9 investigators identified more than 20 bus companies that failed more than half of their safety inspections. What does that tell you? So when you start seeing that 50% or higher rate, um, it goes to show that they really aren't putting that effort into maintaining their fleet. Inspection records reveal Pride Transportation, which is based in St. Paul, failed 91% of its safety inspections last year. The company says it's now under new management and that its fleet manager has received extensive training, adding that its, quote, top priority remains providing a safe and reliable transportation service. And it's not just private bus companies facing those serious violations. As we went through those safety records, we found one of the largest school districts in the entire state. Bloomington Public Schools failed 57% of its bus safety inspections last year, meaning 69 buses were deemed unsafe. We wanted to ask the district why some buses had malfunctioning crossing control arms and problems with emergency exits, but the district did not respond. Yes, it's concerning that the buses aren't necessarily always being maintained to the level that we'd want to see, um, but they are getting rechecked to make sure that they're safe for your students to be on the bus. But court records obtained by the Fox 9 investigators reveal Midwest Bus Services continued driving children last year even after a bus failed inspection. That's now a crime under a new state law that went into effect in 2023. What happens if a bus is taken off the lot even if it failed? So if it failed and they did not correct the defects and we would find it in operation, then the driver and or company could be subject to a gross misdemeanor charge of using a bus that's been placed out of service. The charges against Midwest bus services were recently dropped, but that doesn't dismiss the ongoing concerns of parents like Allison. There's, there's just certain things that you shouldn't have to worry about as a parent when it comes to these things. Okay. And I think that the school bus being reliable is one of them. Now, if you want to know which school bus companies had the highest fail rates in the entire state, we've made it easy for you. 
We built a database where you can actually look up each one of those companies, see which city they're based in, see how many inspections were performed last year, and the overall number and percentage of school buses that were deemed unsafe. You can explore this database on our website. Just head over to fox9.com. For the Fox 9 Investigators, I'm Nathan O'Neill.